hello everyone a warm welcome in this short video i will explain how to install horton works hdp uh, by using oracle virtual box actually there are many different ways using which we can work with big data in clouds so i found this an easy way to develop a hadoop environment apache hadoop environment the hortonworks sandbox will provide you the whole hadoop ecosystem the different components the different services that are required to work with big data and the analysis of big data so why this is an easy way to work with the, to work with the hadoop environment because uh using this way you will not need to install the individual components and establish the connections among them so the first step is to download virtual box or vmware i am using virtual box so i will recommend you to use the virtual box for for this work so the first step is to download the virtual box you can download the virtual box from the official website that is virtualbox.org uh the da the latest version available is 6.1 you can download it for linux operating system for windows for solaris and for mac so the choice is your i am using linux so i have already downloaded the virtual box our next step is to Uh, create an account on the cloud era why we need this account because horton works uh, previously it was a software company which has now been merged with the cloud era and actually they are offering different products one of the product is hdp horton works data platform which we are going to install in a moment so you would need an account the account is very simple you have to register yourself that is a two step process you have to fill the form and submit the form and you will receive a verification email and then you are done i have already uh, make my account here so there is no need to do, to to make another account after making your account you have to log in from here into your account and then you have to click on the products from here you have to select the downloads option from the download sections uh, section you have to select the horton works sandbox so click on the download the horton works sandbox here you will see different options different components different services so we are interested in horton works hdp hdp stand for horton works data platform so you have to download it from here click on the download now the option that we have selected is horton works hdp so we are here the next screen show us the download options okay so um, from the drop down menu you have three options you can download it for docker you can you can download it for virtual box and for vmware as we are using virtual box so the option that you have to select is virtual box let's go accept the terms and conditions submit it you can see different uh, different versions these are the older version the current version available is 3.0.1 so i have the latest version already installed on my system so select the same let me warn you about one thing the size of the file that you are going to download is more than 20 gb wow it's a huge uh, file so definitely it will take some time so i have already downloaded the file let me show this is the file that i have already downloaded and you can see the size is more than uh, 22 gb right so after downloading the file the next step is to import the file into the virtual box so open your virtual box what you will see is uh, is an interface like this 
so you to import the file you have to click on the file and then select import appliance from here after selecting import uh, you have to select the local file system and then uh, you have to give the location to the downloaded file so this is the location open it and then you have to select the import option well after importing the file it will take some time because of the size of the file right so I have already imported the file let me show you how it is so select next from here you will see different options uh, you don't need to change anything Red Hat is the Red Hat Linux that we are interested okay one thing uh, that you need to change is the size of the RAM it depends on the current RAM that you have available for example if you have 8 GB uh, RAM so you can give like 4 GB RAM to the uh, to the installation purpose and then you have to import the file after importing the file what you will see is something like this so after importing the file Hotton works sandbox into the virtual machine it will looks like this but remember it will take some time while you are importing the file after importing the file you have to start the virtual machine by clicking over this button and then the virtual machine is starting one important thing is the size of the file is more than 20 platform so it will take a few minutes to to load the Horton works for the first time okay in my case I have already uh, goes gone through the through the steps so it will be it will load much quicker however in your case for the first time it will take some time obviously up to half an hour or more than that once you have completed the import you have completed the installation what you will see on the screen is something like this now you have the Horton Works sandbox installed uh, in the virtual machine on your system now you can work on it so here are the instructions for virtual box you have to go and access the URL that is localhost port 1080 by using your web browser go to your web browser and then enter this URL that is localhost 1080 localhost 1080 after entering the URL you will be directed to this uh, web page the interface is shown here <coughs> from here you have to click on the launch dashboard option right so click here which will uh, lead you to another window okay uh, remember one thing if you are using for example Firefox then you would need to enable the pop-up because uh, when you click on the launch dashboard it will open extra pop-up windows so you must need to enable pop-ups while you are using your web browser for example Firefox or, Mos or uh, Google Chrome so you need to enable them once you click on the launch dashboard the URL that uh, the the pop-up will be displayed which is shown here so it will ask you for a username and password I uh, at this stage you will you would need uh, to uh, to log in with a universal username and password and that is Raj underscore a O P S R A J underscore O P S is the username and same is the password and then you need to click on on the sign in button which will lead you 
to the dashboard Hadoop ecosystem dashboard so wait a moment and then you will uh, be redirected to the dashboard available to you okay uh, as I mentioned in the start of this course that Hadoop ecosystem contains a huge number of services and all the services are mentioned here for example HDFS, YARN, MapReduce H, uh, HBase, Hive, Pig, uh, Zookeeper, Storm, etc. So all are the services are mentioned here in the left panel, right? So this is your main environment. All the services are available, and as I mentioned in the start at the start of this video, this this approach is very effective because you will get the all the services in one place. So you see by using this approach, uh, you get access to all of the services that are required to work with your big data or with your cloud environment, right? One more thing, uh, I will mention here, and that is important. You would need another login, and that is by using the URL localhost four two double zero. So again, you have to open your web browser, and this time you have to enter the URL localhost four two. So this is the uh, URL that I have entered in the web browser. Press enter, and this will open the client side in order to access the Hadoop ecosystem by using SSH right here uh, you would enter simple commands to work with your data okay so uh, when you enter to this web uh, to this uh, to this site for the first time it will ask for login so remember the root password the the the, the login the admin login here is the the username is root and the default password is Hadoop so when you access this login for the first time you would be required to enter the default password that is Hadoop and when you enter the default password it's, it will ask you on the movement to to change your password and then you can enter the password of your choice so I have already changed uh, my default password I'm going to take login with my own password so remember the 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 login name is root while the password is Hadoop and then you will be required to change the password and then I'm successfully logged in from here you can use commands for example a simple command is going to be for example I am going to check which version of Hadoop I am using so the command is to enter uh, to enter is Hadoop version and it will display you the version of Hadoop that currently is installed on my virtual machine accessing the Horton work sandbox the username that I use that is uh, the the Raj oops uh, is not the admin so I need the admin password and for that you need to remember a command and that is Ambari the environment the GUI the user interface that I'm using admin password reset and by using this uh, you would be required to set the password for the username admin you can select a password of your own choice for example I am going to select a password of my own choice then you have to retype the password it will check both the passwords if they are okay it will start the server in order uh, to in order to configure the setting so it will take a while it will start and stop the server Ambari server so let us wait for a moment again now you see the message the admin password has been set it will restart the server to make the password change effective restarting the Ambari server it will take a while to restart the server and then when it the, ch the the steps are completed you have to go back to the to your dashboard here is the dashboard and then you have to log out from this account that is Raj OPS because that is not the admin that is a uh, universal 
once you are logged out of the system you would need to log in again but this time with the username admin and the password that you have selected so I'm going to log in again so this time I'm going to log in as admin I need to provide the password click on sign in <coughs> and then here is the dashboard it is the same dashboard same services however the difference is here this time I have more privileges <coughs> now here you can see all the services as an administrator you add as an administrator uh, you can start and stop different services for example HDFS let us start the service and then here it goes I am going to start the HDFS service and also the uh, all the services are starting are started in the background as well previously so now as an admin I have started and it will take some time so let us uh, see some more explore this dashboard here is an option which is important and that is files views this is actually the files views of the HDFS which is the file system of the Hadoop right you will see different folders here you can also create your own folders you can move the file from your local system to your cloud okay so uh, if the service is not started yet so it will take some time to do some other operations for example creating a folder moving files and so on so this is how we install the Hadoop in, uh, in an easy way by following the sandbox uh, installation. I hope you have learned something from this video and I hope you would be able to install your own sandbox at your own virtual machine next in the next video we will explore some commands related with the HDFS and other things okay so till then uh, stay safe and take a good care of yourself bye